Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create YouTube Shorts. Obviously when it comes to effects, transitions and stuff, we could make a 10 hour video. Just check my playlist for that. I'm going to show you the general approach. You just import whatever you've got, for example, your footage and maybe this is 16 by 9. You can import images, audio, as I've said, whatever. But when you want to export it, it needs to be 9 by 16. So whatever you've got, make sure that under ratio it is set to 9 by 16. As this is TikTok and YouTube short format, if for example is a clip that was recorded in 9 by 16, that's fine. But if you've got an image that's a little bit too small here, or footage that's 16 by 9, make sure to adjust the ratio. You can adjust the duration of these clips down here in the timeline and then make sure that they span the entire canvas. So you may have to resize that, for example here the image. This clip's fine, but here we've got 16 by 9 on a 9 by 16 format, so I have to resize that. And you can left click drag on this preview window and reposition the clips. Here again, I need to resize it to make it fit the format. You can add text up here. Let me add a default text. I select it and then I change its duration by left clicking and dragging. And I adjust the text. Let's say that's a national park. Reposition it the same way. So left click, drag on the preview window, resize it a bit. Next thing to check after the format is the duration. Currently, YouTube Shorts need to be between 15 seconds and 60 seconds. So one minute is our limit and this one exceeds it. So drag this slider until the turquoise number is a minute max and then press B for the split tool. Left click here then press A for the select tool. Select the excess part and delete it so that we are at 16 seconds, one minute max. Now we can export it right here. 1080p is fine, but you can also use 2K as one minute is quickly exported. Make sure that the box for video exporting is checked. Keep the codec to H.264. Format MP4, frame rate is automatically adjusted. Keep it and then you can set the folder where it is exported to and change the name. Finally, confirm via export and it only takes a couple of seconds as it's a short 60 second clip. And once you're done, you can upload it here directly via TikTok when you sign in or just go to YouTube and you're good to go. And this is how you can create YouTube Shorts in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.